My name is Stuart Cupid. I'm um, one of the technical directors and one of the co-founders of Ignition. Um, we've been asked by Westfield to partner with them to create an interactive uh, experience to launch their fashion trends uh, 2015. We've created an interactive video wall experience and a VR experience. The content's made with a combination of uh, software development and 3D modeling graphic art, which has been worked as a sort of partnership between us and Westfield to create the right fashion-themed trends. The walls use a Microsoft Connect to track your whole body, so you can interact with the graphics that are on screen by moving around, jumping, clapping, and touching other people. It's a combination of art, interactive fun, and experience. It's the kind of thing you come out and don't see every day, certainly not the virtual reality. It's quite new. Um, the technology is only just becoming available. We've added a new element to it, which is to be able to track your hands in the virtual space, and it's one of the first times that's been shown in the public. Leap motion, which is a hand or gesture tracking technology, so when you hold your hand up in front of your space, the headset tracks your hand and you can see your hand in the virtual world. Something changes between when you're watching it on screen and when you're wearing the VR headset. The, the content appears all around you. When you look around, the, the headset tracks your head motion and redraws the view, so wherever you look, you see the appropriate view. Adding the, the interaction with your virtual hands enables you to sort of reach out and touch and interact with things in the scene, which makes it even more compelling. You start off in a little holding room where you're, you're asked by the host to choose one of three different fashion trend experiences. You can touch denim, floral or future modern. When you touch one of those tunnels, you shoot off into a virtual world, a virtual space, which is a, each one's slightly different and they're inspired by the different fashion trends. So there's a sort of floral garden of abstract plants. Uh, there's a future modern scene and there's a denim world, which is sort of an urban grungy scene uh, inspired by denim. You can reach out with your hands and use it a bit like Superman to fly through the air. It's very, um, very responsive to your motion. They're not a direct uh, shopping experience. Perhaps that sort of thing will come in the future. Um, the idea that you can put a VR headset on and go into a virtual shopping mall and actually buy things. A lot of people are working on those sort of concepts. In terms of shopping experience, there's all kinds of options being worked on. With VR, you can replicate the walking into a store experience as though you're standing in the store. So it'll be a very different experience to shopping online. The VR Topshop one, um, that was a, one of the first uh, virtual reality projects using the Oculus Rift, experiencing a fashion show from the front row whilst you're sitting in the Oxford Street store. So we filmed the front row fashion experience using a wide angle camera, beamed that content live back to the Oxford Street store, and then five lucky winners were able to put the virtual reality headset on and get a view as though they were sitting on the front row, being able to look around and watch the models walk past. So it was a way of um, inviting people to experience something they wouldn't normally get an invite to. I think the, the initial interest is kind of all around gaming, um, but as those products become more available and, and more mature, then gradually people will start to see the ability to have these in the home, and from that they'll be able to think, ah, oh, maybe I could use this to get a shopping experience or a retail experience in the home that's more engaging, more compelling than a web page.